Uh, it's quite important to be very rational when, when you go through uh, you are going through a rough patch in life. You need you need a support team. Mm. You need people close to you. You need uh, people you can you can share uh, uh, very sensitive mm -hmm. uh, information issues with your life. People you can people very close. You can share anything with them. That's why I'm saying you need a support network. And uh, you, you should not take matters into your own hands. Don't allow yourself to be controlled by <laughs> anger. We have so many people who are, are controlled by resentment. They, they, and they have carried grudges for so long. They, they, and uh, it comes a point, as Angela was saying, they explode. And when you, you explode, you, do, you, you mess up things. Before you come to a point where you are you, 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 you are controlled by resentment, you need to you need to seek help. Mm -hmm. You need to talk. Open up. Open up. Talk your issues. Right. Uh, communicate. Uh, and uh, that's why I, I wrote a book. And communicate your issues in a very uh, in, in a very articulate way. Let your partner know what you what you're thinking. Completely, don't hide anything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's better to share information than to regret, I wish I, I had done this. Maybe things could have been better. But you just kept things to yourself. You did not go for help until you messed, you, you messed up things and you, 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 you really made the life of your partner very difficult. Because it's obvious that sometimes we might not get these people to speak. Mm -hmm. I mean, as... As that world of, of course, understanding people, you know, that world of, of course, cho coaching people, of transforming the lives of people, uh, do you suppose that we should be a little bit more proactive in getting to, you know, friends, getting to understand what people are going through, you know, in the very same fraternity that we are in? Because we might assume that one is going to speak and they fail to speak. So what other proactive move should we make as a society towards ensuring that we see some of this or we troubleshoot some of these issues that are bound to happen before it gets to that particular point? Because as a society, I mean, you've had these stories, numerous stories that, you know, now after the damage has already been done is when people come out and say, you know, she used to complain about it, she used to say, or they used to fight, or she used to tell me this, he used to tell me this, but then here we are again. It looks like, you know, when you hear that as a society, you just mind your own business and say, you know, it's your own business. And you look at what happened on the past or the back times, you know, when the society used to be involved with the life of an even individual, but today is one man's you know, affair, like it's you and you alone, especially, I'll tell you, I, I barely know my neighbors. That's a reality. You know, some of yeah. them you just see from afar. And these are people you've stayed in the same, of course, a state, same compound, same building for years with. So what should we do extra as a society? You know, in the olden days, before people get married, the families used to identify a family where their sons or their daughters want okay. to get married. Yeah. And there used to be a lot of self-awareness because this family would know that my child is like this. And this child would identify with their family mm -hmm. because they know this is how I am and this is how my family is. So I can only get married to a family which relates to my family. Yeah. So there was so much awareness in... Uh, the kind of person I am and the kind of person I want to get married. Mm -hmm. unfortunately, unfortunately, nowadays, we are going to seek souls while we haven't even seeked our own soul. Right. You don't even know yourself yet. And you're out there looking for someone to know them. How will you even manage to know someone else right. when, while you don't know yourself? It's like saying that I will love someone while I don't love myself. Because we should show people how we, uh, how we want to be loved by the way we love ourselves mm -hmm. first. So I think that there's, there's a lot of uh, laggishness or, or maybe a lot of misadvice or, or lack of it at all. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I believe that uh, when you're courting, you need to first get to know this person. But even before you get to know that person, know who you are. Then you will be able to identify a person who matches you. Mm -hmm. Because you shouldn't just go and marry anyone because they're ready to get married. Right. There are many people who want to get married, mm -hmm. but you're not there for everyone so, or anyone to say. Right. So you, you need to know yourself first, and then you know uh, the kind of person you, you want to have. Mm -hmm. even, you can even list down, come up with a list of qualities of the person that you want. 
to get married to and then ask yourself, do I have these qualities myself mm. before I can even go to this person or, or give my life to this person? Right. Then that way you'll be able to reason together Communication will, will not be a problem as it is in many marriages nowadays. Young people are getting married just because I'm a male and I'm, and I'm a female and this is a male. It's like dogs or animals. They don't, they, 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 they maybe they involve themselves into giving birth without, without conscience. But us, we are given that, uh, that gift by God, and I think that we should use it very wisely. There is no soul that can get another soul which is perfect for them unless they first seek their own soul. Mm.